Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to conduct fifth lab tutorial for this uh, PK eighteen F microcontroller, uh, and today we will be covering about uh, I/O port programming in PIC microcontroller, and we will be using AmpiLab and Proteus, right? So uh, let's read the statement, which will be uh, which will be the task for this specific tutorial. So implement Proteus simulation. Of PIC 18F452, so we are going to implement a Proteus simulation about PIC 18F452. And what we have to do, we have to receive an information from RB0, right? That means we have to receive an information from RB0 and send it to RC0. We know that RB0, RB1, RB2, RB3, up to RB7 are pin numbers of port B, and RC similarly RC0, RC1, RC2. Up to RC seven are pin numbers of uh, or pin mnemonic of uh, port C, right? So that means we are going to receive from certain information from port B. That means port B will serve as input port, and our we are going to use just one pin of port B, which uh, which is RB zero as input pin, and similarly RC zero belongs to port C, so port C will will be used as uh, output port. And only one pin uh, of a port C, which is RC zero or zeroth pin, will be used as uh, output pin, right? So, let's write the code for this specific uh, task. This is the code for this task. So, let's discuss this code quickly. Uh, we have seen number of uh, instructions like this, so I will be just quickly doing this uh, dry run. Uh, i hope you can easily understand so let's see what is the code uh, first line says move little to working 0 0 that means a working register will become 0 and then we move it towards press c right so what it will do we are sending zeros to press c that means port c will become output port i hope this point is clear at this stage because we have done numerous example of this kind of programs right and then this instruction move f move file And what file port B to W? That means whatever the data coming from port B, since port B is input port, uh, will be sent towards W. And this instruction is using this. Uh, this instruction uh, is performing this operation. What instruction? Move F port B comma W, right? And the next instruction is move W F. That means we are moving working register content into a file register. And what file register? It is port C. So whatever the content we Uh, paste it from port B into working register. Now it is being sent to port C, and then we repeat this procedure for indefinite time interval, right? Because we want to repeat this uh, this phenomena that whatever the information coming from port B is, should be sent to port C, or in fact RB zero to RC zero, right? So that is why we are putting this these instruction in infinite loop, and this is also. a uh, true uh, for any embedded system application because whenever microcontroller turns on then it performs whatever uh, the dedicated task for indefinite time or unless it is turned off right so what is happening we are sending port b information to port c that means one can say that means uh port b data is being sent to port c or in simple words rb0 data is sent to port c0 and that is the function of uh that is the purpose of this task so uh, i hope this program is clear let's implement the same code in amplab environment so this is amplab environment we have already seen i have written the same code in the amplab i hope uh, uh at this stage of our course you can easily uh you can easily uh, create the project in ampi lab environment and write down the code if you have still any confusion so you can watch my earlier tutorial in which i created a new project inside ampi lab environment and i uh, explain uh, different various uh, uh, options available inside these uh, menu bar and debuggers so let's build this code right okay this code is successful build is succeeded and then i will also build all uh, just to clear all possible errors and compilation errors and furthermore it will create an hex file so that hex file is present in the same directory in which we have saved this folder so right now we need to copy that hex file into the proteus so that we can actually 
run this code as a simulation in proteus environment so let's go to the proteus environment okay this is the proteus environment i have already created a pk18 f452 project in mp in proteus environment uh, and i hope you know this uh, how to create this project in proteus and if you have any confusion you can go to my last tutorial in which i explain you how you can create a new project uh, simulation for pk18 f452 so this microcontroller is already present now in this project and now we need to import the file uh, or import the hex file into this microcontroller uh, that is equivalent to burning of machine code inside hardware of microcontroller so let's see how we can do it so you have to right click on it there is an option of added properties right this added properties click on it and now you will see this added component dialog box so in this dialog box you can actually change the clock rate which is defined here 4 megahertz right you it can go up to 40 megahertz because the microcontroller that we are going to use in this uh, course is pk18f452 and the maximum clock that you can attach with that microcontroller is 40 megahertz the minimum is 4 megahertz and you can go to 40 megahertz and you can use uh, in between any value so let's say i'm using 20 megahertz crystal right so in this type of program so far this clock rate doesn't uh, change our code so we can use 20 megahertz crystal but in later on coming tutorials we will be actually using the specific clock rate which is required for our application so uh, let's go to the burning of code or importing the hex file from mp lab so this is the program file option and you have to just browse from here and this is the same uh, folder i have selected in which i have compiled the code in mp lab so this is by default it is c documents if you have changed during the installation should so you know you should know the path for your computer or system so let's click on this lab for demo this is the name of the project that i've created in the uh, mp lab and dot hex is the hex file or machine code right that we need to burn in the microcontroller so we will select it and click on open right so now this code is written here lab for demo right and now what we are doing we are just pressing ok so this code is burned now and now we are going to see the next thing so we know that uh, there will be certain input will be going inside this uh, microcontroller that means in this tutorial we need an input device which will provide certain information to uh, rb0 pin so let's zoom in to show you where rb0 port is rb Port B is available. I hope uh, you can see it now over here. Yeah, this is the RB0 pin. I hope you can see it RB0, RB1, RB2. Uh, there are multiple other functions available or present or shown here because we know we have discussed it, this, uh, this, this concept in theory class that every pin of PIC 18 f 452 uh, is for multifunction. So RB0 or int 0 is function of this pin. It is pin number 33 in uh, actual IC package, but uh, it's for easiness of the users or easiness of the students. So these are given in in this format. So RB0 to RB7, this is our port B. So we are going to use this RB0 pin and this is the pin where we are going to attach our input device. So we will be using a switch whenever it will be, you can say closed or on, it will provide power to this RB0 pin or high signal to this RB0. And whenever it is uh, open or turned off, then there will be zero in RB0 pin. So let's start up the uh, switch with this IC. So to find the component, we have to go, you, you know, this is remember, this is a selection mode, this arrow, and then this component mode, you have to select to create a new peripheral device. So I have selected it and look, there is only one peripheral in this display right now because this is only IC, right? Pick 18 F452. So next thing, what we are going to, we are, we are going to click this P. So this dialog box will appear. P is for pick devices. So we can device, we can pick any of the device which are mentioned here, but just to uh, go through each and uh, just to avoid go through each and every possible library, we can simply write our desired function here i need here a switch so i will write switch and this switch which is a very simple and analogic uh, switch is present here so i will just click on it look this this diagram is shown here for our help 
and if you want to switch change other type of switch you can find various type of switches but i will be using very simple switch so that we can actually uh, perform a very basic concept of switch right so you you see now pick 18 f452 was present and now you have switch available right so you have to just click switch here and just somewhere here click over here right so you can see that a switch is present now okay now i have adjusted it so now what i have to do i have to connect this switch with this rb0 pin right so this switch is connected how i am connecting just click over here and connect to the point where you you want to connect and if you don't want to connect it just right click on it it will remove right next thing uh, okay this switch will be turned on so some power should be applied to this pin or high voltage so which will be considered as high voltage uh, or high signal in the in a logical sense so we need a power source so power source can be find this is our selection mode this is our component mode and somewhere here this is our terminal mode and in terminal mode you can find all possible terminals like input output power or ground so we need a power i will choose a power here and click over here right so this will serve as a power right so you know that whenever this switch is open that means this power is not connected to this rv0 that means there will be no voltages or if it is connected then there will be certain voltages that means high signal will be applied on rv0 right uh but what if if this switch is open so there will be no voltage right so we need to provide certain voltage over here so we can actually use a ground for this purpose a ground should be used here right a ground is here and we will, we can connect to this point so now when this switch is open this port is connected to ground because they are following this easy path or short path which is available right so rv0 is connected with this ground in this case but what happen if we are going to uh if we are going to close this switch right so let's close this switch if we close it still it will follow this path why because this is the short uh, shortest resistance path, resistance path because it will still be ground, grounded it will not follow this vcc that means uh, we have a problem and we cannot connect a ground like this there must be some other way and that way is known as pull down resistor pull down resistor a very important concept that we are going to introduce with you people just to avoid this grounding and vcc uh, connecting with a common point because now it has become a common point look this vcc is connecting to this point and this node is also connected with this ground that means you uh, this pin will always have zero whether this switch is open or switch is closed right so to avoid the situation what we can do we can use a pull down resistor so what we have to do we have to uh, disconnect this uh, uh, connection and how you can delete it just select over here and then press delete right so this is how you can delete and now we need a resistor so again we go to component mode then we go to pick device for and click on this p so this is the dialog box now we need a resistor so we will just simply write resistor and you see as uh, it is selected by default so it is a resistor you click click on it so now we see a resistor over here as well so we will connect it and by default its value is 10 kilo ohm you can change its values by click on by clicking on it look it's 10 kilo right so you can make it 100 kilo you can make it 1000 kilo even mega right so i will just keep it sim uh, just keep it uh, default value 10 kilo because right now these resistor value doesn't matter in my simulation we just need to attach a resistor so what we have to do we have to uh, and furthermore if you click on right uh, right click on it this component you can simply ro rotate them right you can rotate it clockwise you can rotate it anti clockwise there is option of rotate 180 degree x y mirroring y y mirroring right that means uh, you have option to change the orientation and we will just rotate clockwise so to make it vertical right and then i will place it over here this point and then i'm gonna connect with this node this node will should be connected right and now this this is connected 
again click on and click on this ground so what actually has happened with this resistor let's see if this path uh, if this switch is closed so this rb0 will go to this path because this is low resistive path this is not and that one is high resistive path so it won't be followed right so uh, that means this path will not be followed only this path will follow right in this scenario what is what's present on the pin there will be certain voltages right that will lead as a logical one that means this rb0 is now input equal to one logically one but it has a certain voltages if it is closed right so if we make it open right if you make it open what is going to happen this path is open now so there is only one possible path which can be followed by this pin so this is the grounding path or this is short path right so it will no it will no more zero it will become sorry it will no more one it will become zero because it is connected to ground voltages right so that is the concept of uh, pull down resistor i hope you understand it next thing what we need to connect over here is uh peripheral device which is output peripheral device so we are going to connect with rc0 and if you look at carefully this is rc0 pin pin number 15 is rc0 and this uh, these are eight pins for dedicated for port c you can see rc0 rc1 rc2 rc3 rc4 up to rc7 there are multiple functions of these pins that is why those functions are also mentioned here but in this case we are just using it this this specific area as port as a port c so let me highlight the area so that you can uh, easily understand this is the port c right this is our port c area right and that is our port b area right now we are using it as a port b but there are multiple functions which can be performed okay let's connect an led how can you can find led you have to go to pick devices you have to simply write led over here led will automatically appear and then we will have to go and choose this led okay this is the led i'm choosing in the last simulation okay this is the led i will connect this led with rc0 pin okay it is connected now and i have to also ground it right so i'm how i find uh, how i'm going to find ground in terminal mode there is a ground i will click over here right and it is now connected so now our circuit simulation uh, our connections are complete now what we have to do whenever we are going to turn on this switch then this led should glow because uh, if you remember what for what we have written the code we have written the code whenever data is received from rb0 pin it will be transferred to rc0 pin and rc0 pin is connected to this led so if one is going to receive from rb0 in case of uh, this switch is closed so one will transfer to rc0 pin and rc0 pin is going to transfer to this led that means this led will glow right now this simulation is not working so let's start the simulation this is our message bar we don't see anything this is our stop button this is the pause button right this is advancing our simulation button and there is a run button so we i will just click on this run button and i hope you can see that now this simulation is running right we can also see the message animating from uh, up uh, since last 0 0.008 seconds right so min this timer is going on that means simulation is running but we don't see any output because uh, right now our input is zero because it is connected with the ground whenever we are going to turn on this switch let's connect it let's we see this led is glowing now i hope you have understand the concept if you actually uh, open the switch again so it will again go to ground and it there will be zero over here so this led is turned off right so this is the concept that i wanted to explain you that how you can implement input peripheral and output peripheral with pic 18 f452 in pic and proteus environment i hope you have understand it if you haven't so so please go through this tutorial again and if you find any confusing points you can ask me in comment section uh, i will i'm trying to i i will be trying to provide you the right answer or appropriate answers according to your needs right so that's it from this this video tutorial uh, if you have any confusion please post in comment section uh, thank you so much for listening